This is a city sack, shrunken down into a duffel. This is how we ship all the sacks at Love Sacks compressed down to one eighth their original volume inside of this teal love sack duffel. This is a medium sized sack, a city sack, and I'm gonna unpack it today and show you how to get it out. Don't be surprised if your duffel's marked up, scuffed up from shipping. This one was actually shipped here. No big deal, the sack inside was built to last a lifetime and will continue to evolve with you as your life changes. My personal favorite part about a sack from Love Sack is actually this duffel. I've collected dozens of these over the years. I use them for boating gear, camping gear, hiking gear. There is nothing more useful in a move than a love sack duffel. We just crammed all of our kids' toys inside of a big one duffel, threw it down the stairs, got it out to the truck. It's so awesome. Love sack duffels are seriously my favorite part of love sack. Don't cut it. You're just gonna unzip it and release the power of the sack inside. To get your love sack out, all you need to do is unzip this big long zipper and then push it out rather quickly as it starts to expand. The easiest way to get it out is to stand it up on one end, put your knee into it and peel the duffel back. Once you have one end out of the duffel, the rest is easy. The sack will grow on its own as it takes in air. You can go ahead and remove the plastic bag carefully so you can keep it and hopefully reuse it. Or if you like, you can tear it open and discard it, hopefully find a way to recycle it. Once you remove the plastic bag, the air will get in a lot faster and the sack will begin to expand almost on its own. As the sack's expanding, I'd encourage you to make sure you keep the duffel. It's like my favorite part of a love sack. They even have this cool convenience pocket in the front with your love sack identification card. At least 51 plastic water bottles were recycled to create the gray fabric on this city sack as denoted on this sack identification card. And notice on the zipper, you've got a free love sack keychain. Once your sack is out of the bag, go ahead and flip it and fluff it and rotate it. This city sack is rather easy to fluff. It's one of the smaller sizes in our lineup, but it will not come back to its full fluffy self for a day or two. Sometimes it can take up to a week for a sack to get fully fluffed. You don't have to wait that long to put your cover on, but it's best to get the sack about 80% fluffy before you put a cover on it. On the top of the sack, you'll notice a few details. One, the signature Love Sack logo flap complete with our original logo on the bottom. Two, some really entertaining warning instructions on the bottom of the label. And three, these webbed loops meant for tying your cover to the sack. Each sack cover has shoelace-like ties on the inside where the zippers meet that mate with these loops and keep your cover centered on the shape of the sack. One of my favorite ways to fluff a sack is to turn my kids loose on it. Let them jump on it, dance on it, roll it down the stairs, whatever. Hopefully not with them on it, but I've seen it done. Flip your sack around, fluff it up. Essentially, a love sack is full of popcorn-sized shredded pieces of Durafoam. Durafoam is a proprietary love sack blend of polyurethane foam densities to result in the perfect sit and ultimate resilience. Love sacks can last a lifetime. Durafoam is meant to be squished flat and fluff back up again. Don't be surprised if after using your love sack for a little while, your sack looks flat and sometimes gets like a pancake. You just need to get up, roll it over and fluff it. The easiest way to fluff a sack, even a super sack or a big one, is to grab it very, very low on the fabric and then rotate it away from you. Now that your sack is fluffed, it's ready for a cover. 